So last night, a very close friend of mine were in the foot market or bought a video called This Is Unacceptable in FIFA 20. And I wanted to give my take on it because I've watched the video. Uh, in fact, I've almost watched it fully twice now. I've watched it once and then I've gone through and sort of re-watched the bits that I just thought were ludicrous. And I thought I would uh, give my take on it because... I think this is ridiculous, and I think Nick's been way too nice in his video. Like, he really has been very nice to these people. And I don't think they deserve the niceties that he's shown them, I'll be honest with you. It kind of annoys me. I'm not going to speak too much on Nick's video. I'm going to let you guys watch it yourself. It's definitely worth the watch. I know it's like 30 minutes, but I'll be honest with you, it's worth it. I would watch it if I were you. The time flies when you're watching it. Um, but the part that's really annoyed me is this part right here. Um, so he showcases that there is an NA Pro Discord. Now, don't get me wrong, there's not just an NA Pro Discord. There is a Pro Discord on FIFA for every single region. That's that's a fact. That that is literally a fact. Like like that there's not that's not untrue at all. There's a Pro Discord for every single FIFA. Um, not to mention there is a searching room in this Pro Discord because these guys insist on letting each other know when they're searching so they can actually dodge each other. Now, the act of dodging in FIFA is essentially, like I just said, letting people know when you're searching so that they don't find you in a game, making their games easier, making 27 wins easier, making getting to qualifiers easier, hopefully giving them a better chance. Now, I actually empathize with FIFA pros. I 100% do. The prize money in FIFA is absolutely awful. It's not sustainable at all if you get anything other than first or second place. Uh, and even second place is not sustainable. If you look at the prize money for previous events, it's like first is always like $50,000. Second is usually about $10,000. And then like third through to 16th is usually less than like a thousand or two and a half thousand dollars. I'm pretty sure like third to fifth is usually two and a half thousand. Then fifth to 10th is usually like 750. $50 to being but for being in the top 10 in the world you can only come away with $750 it's it's actually quite ludicrous and awful from EA not to mention the fact that to even get there is difficult because the qualifiers are in absolute shambles you play people from all over the world on one bar connections and just hope for the win um it's not easy it's not easy for pros and I do I do sympathize uh, with pros with how difficult it is this year to actually uh, make something of, of being a pro on FIFA. Um, I don't sympathize with these plebs, however, and I'll go into that in a little bit more in just a minute. Um, but uh, they have a pro discord for dodging to try and make it easier to try and avoid all the all the rubbish of of, you know, potentially getting very, very unlucky in a game and losing to someone that's maybe Elite 3 or something like that, because that does happen. That's happened plenty of times over the years where where a pro has lost to like an Elite 3 player just because the game hasn't gone their way. We've all been in that game. We've all been a part of that game in FIFA where the game's just not going your way um, and you've lost. So these guys dodge each other. They literally dodge each other in Foot Champions. That's the most fraudulent thing I think I've ever heard in my entire life. Now, if you guys know me well, you know that last year I actually played... Oh, sorry. It's two years ago now. Down the time flies. Two years ago, um, for a brief sort of three to five month period, I was essentially a professional Fortnite player. I competed in tournaments. I won money. It was what I did full time. Um, you know, I was, I was going to events. I was playing in events and things like that. Um, I was very, very good at Fortnite. And there was never anything close to this in Fortnite. There's never anything close to this in any other esport. There is no such thing as dodging in any other esports. Now, maybe that is a large portion to do with the fact that no other esport really has this one-on-one -on -one feature where every time you go into a game, it's only you versus one other player. Um, maybe that has something to do with it. And maybe if other esports were similar, there would be dodging. But there's no such thing as dodging in other esports. And it kind of brings shame onto this Esport, sorry, this game is an esport and this community is an esport, um, which absolutely sucks. Because, yes, it doesn't happen just in NA, but we're not going to talk about anywhere else because there's no receipts for that. There's no proof. There's nothing like, I'm not going to try and dog people's names. I want to talk about these guys right here. So, you look at this Discord and a few of the, the main components in here, someone like, for example, Hectic Dukes, people like that. These guys, like Nick says in his, in his video, they're signed to pro organizations. Now, um, the EMLS is quite popular over in NA. Um, essentially, uh, MLS teams will sign one or two players from from uh, from the NA pro scene. Um, and for a whole year, they will actually have a monthly retainer. Meaning that Hectic Jukes is out there getting paid a monthly 
uh, salary, essentially. Now, I don't know if this is a lot of money. I wouldn't imagine it's huge amounts of money because I can't imagine there's loads and loads of money in it, I'll be honest with you, because even if you do win an event, like, even if the organization takes 10% and you come, you get $50,000, they're only making 5K. Like, I highly doubt there's a lot of money in it, but they're getting paid a monthly retainer, which is more than a lot of these other pros that are trying to make it actually get. The fact that they're dodging people with a monthly retainer with that safety clause of knowing that even if you don't qualify for the event, you're still making maybe like 1500 bucks a month, $2,000 a month, something that you can actually live on because I imagine it will be enough to live on. That to me sounds absolutely ludicrous. I know for a fact that if I was getting a monthly retainer from an organization, I would be trying my absolute hardest, not only to actually match pros, but to be getting better at FIFA to try and take that event, that, that organization to events, you know? Like this this to me seems like laziness. It seems like complacent laziness. Um, and it sounds absolutely ridiculous. So these guys are representing organizations and they're breaking EATOS by by dodging and by by you know searching for individual people. Um, and to me sounds absolutely ridiculous. Dodging is stupid. It really is absolutely stupid. We'll take Jukes as an example because he's he's very smartly made himself very, very um noticeable in that Discord. He has been very open and he is he's he's done, you know numerous dodging in that discord so i thought we'd use him as an example now just the other day he actually apologized to run the foot market because there was some stream sniping going on again i'll talk about that uh, in a little bit but he tweeted out i want to clarify and reiterate that i did not stream snipe run the market nor tr run the foot market nor try to i've been playing this game for years and never stream sniped a, a streamer people that have followed my stream will know that i never played during the day or the hours run the foot market is online he actually apologized to Run the Foot Market two days ago when this all came out via Run the Foot Market's tweets. And he deleted his apology and then stated this. Now, the reason why he's stating this is because he's been given a cop out, unfortunately. This was all this was all here. These receipts here are all about Run the Foot, Run the Foot Market being stream sniped. Uh, he goes on to say about three or four times a weekend at bare minimum, he gets stream sniped by these NA fraud, sorry, NA pros. Um, in this discord as you can see here the screenshot um, of the people that are trying to search it uh, search for him um, And Jukes actually comes out and says that he didn't stream snipe now When you want to make something that clear that you didn't break one rule It seems very very obvious that you're breaking the other rule, but you just don't want everyone to know I, I would probably guess that hectic Jukes is a very very avid dodger and he's probably saying this and come out and clarified this because he knows that this will take the attention away from him dodging. This is his tweet to Run the Foot Market just two days ago. Uh, I apologize to Run the Foot Market as well, but he deleted it. This man deleted his tweet. What a smart guy. You really are very smart. Here is another screenshot right here. Uh, as you can see here on the left, you'll see the searching room, the hashtag searching room. Sid's in game. Aslam searching. Diddy Crisito. Searching at everyone. If a MTF snipe me. He went on to make a statement on Twitter the day after the video was posted. Just to clarify everything that has been said. I have never partaken any stream sniping in my life. What a, what a coincidence. You and Hectic Jukes just sat, you happen to be saints in the community. You didn't stream snipe someone. You amazing human beings. You know, kudos to you, Chris Lito. For not stream sniping anyone. That is well done to you, sir. But he's not stream sniped anyone. In his life, for those did from the Discord, I'm not associated whatsoever with those actions. I literally got invited to the Discord two weeks ago and no one can involve, sorry, no one involved can deny that statement. Okay. You've been in two weeks and you're already trying to dodge people. I'm sorry, but my webcam kind of block this. Let me move my webcam over here. I'm going to I'm going to block Nick's face. I do apologize Nick. Um it is a very nice face. Oh oh I've been I've been you guys can see I'm a fraud now. You guys you guys can see I'm a fraud. It's not my real background. Uh oh god, I've been exposed. The receipts are out. The receipts are out. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, god, oh, god. <laughs> oh no. Now you can see searching if a MTF snipe me. But he hasn't stream sniped though. Also I have recently won six NA Cups in a row against the top players in the region, whom some of were in also in the Discord. I can't even read today. Uh, in the region, whom some were also in the Discord as well. I think that shows my capabilities as a player. Sadly, dodging other competitive players has been a foot jump since day one. Hope you guys understand. And again, I was already verified and didn't need to hit 27 wins. 
You mean to tell me that you won six NA Cups against people that all dodged to get there? You are amazing at FIFA. Congratulations. Now, maybe it's really harsh of me to, to mock like this. Maybe it's harsh of me to, to really sort of disregard this man's capabilities and his achievements. No, it's not harsh at all, actually. It's, it's really not harsh at all. This man's been dodging for at least two weeks. This man's been dodging for at least two weeks, which means he could have dodged from pretty much the first weekend league of FIFA 20. But hey, it's okay, because day, since day one, it's been in the game. People have been dodging since day one, so that's fine, right? Now, Didi Cusito is actually a pro player for NYFC. I think previously used to play for Man City. Two teams I'd imagine probably have pretty good PR teams. And you thought this was a good idea. You thought to clarify you weren't stream sniping and then to say that you didn't need to dodge but still dodged was a good idea. Brilliant. Good idea, mate. Well done. I find it quite shocking how in the midst of all of this, you have to try and flex your six NA Cups despite literally everyone coming out and saying how fraudulent now the NA scene has become because of these bad eggs that have made the entire scene look absolutely awful. Yeah, those six NA Cups really look good now against against a bunch of Dodgers. Well done, mate. But in a, in a serious note, I think that if you dodge straight away, you should receive some kind of sanction from further EA tournaments. Now, yes, this seems horrible of me. I Right now, it looks right now that I am coming after these guys' career. I'm trying to get them to stop being able to compete. But this is ridiculous, and it will be it will be double standards from EA if they are going to ban people for coin transferring, for um, you know rude remarks to people. I know, for example, I think Tas got a ban for a homophobic remark. I've seen people get bans for for racist remarks, things like that. It would be hypocritical and double standards from EA if they weren't to ban people genuinely a blue uh, sorry abusing their um, in game mechanics to dodge people. That, to me, would be ludicrous if they didn't receive the same sort of sanctions as people that made rude and, and, and racist and horrible remarks. Because at the end of the day, a racist remark affects someone mentally. Dodging affects someone physically because they, they're going to be playing against worse opponents. They're both, in my opinion, just as bad when it comes to p competing professionally. I think that both should receive the similar sanctions, if not the exact same sanctions. Not to mention, if I was leading NYFC's esports team, I wouldn't want this guy or any of the pros in the NA Discord anywhere close to my team. Now, again, that's just me. But if you're dodging, you're not a pro player. You're just not. Just, just get out of it. I'm a gold one player, bro. And I am more of a pro player than any of these dodgers ever will be. I don't care how many wins you get against absolute spuds in the weekend league. I don't care if you can go 25-0 and against people that, that have no fingers. Right? If you're dodging the people in the last five games, whilst Nick Run the Foot Market, who's a content creator, by the way, not even a pro player, is slapping up the pros in the NA Discord in his last 10 games in Weekend League, then you are a fraud and you don't deserve top 100, let alone to be verified, to be going to qualifiers, to be signed with an esports organization. It's fraudulent. It's fraudulent. Now let's talk about Run the Foot Market right now. Nick was 29, sorry, 28 and 1 at this point. It's the five seconds before the 90th minute. He's winning one to nil, and he's about to receive the ball with a misplaced pass. As you see, well, he was he was about to receive the ball from a misplaced pass, and he gets a DC. I don't think I don't think he got DDoS or anything like that. But what I will say is this guy is a is a pro. I don't know if this guy stream sniped him or not. I don't think he did. But these guys right here all intended on stream sniping Nick for his last game, whether it be Tosobi, Ryan Zahang. Jukes, or any of the other people, Agit, any of the people that that sit there and, and, and stream snipe him on a regular basis. This, like, Nick's literally beating these guys. Nick went 30-0 numerous times last year, 29-1s and ones all the time. Uh, he was 28-0 and 0 at one point this year. Uh, sorry, this weekend, like this weekend just gone. Um, he, he literally slaps these guys up for fun. And they, they stream snipe him multiple times a weekend via this searching room. And this, to me, seems ludicrous. I don't get it. I don't understand why you'd want to stream snipe somebody. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't compute in my brain. Like, what is wrong with you? Why Why on earth are you... Like, I get it if you want the attention. I get it if that's what you're after. You're desperate for the attention. But why on earth are you going after, like, a genuinely nice person? I've known Nick 
since genuinely, I uh, know I said just, just, just said genuinely twice, alright, shut up. Um, I've known Nick since probably early FIFA 17. When I met Nick, he was averaging 10, 15 viewers on Twitch. And he's the exact same person then as he is now. This dude hasn't changed a bit at all. He still talks to all the same people he talked to back then. He's still as humble as he was back then. Like, he's a genuine nice person. And these people go out their way every weekend to stream snipe him to try and ruin his records, to try and ruin his weekend, to try and make him look awful on stream, or to try and make him feel awful on stream. And that, to me should be a bannable offence. I don't know if stream sniping is bannable in EA's books, but I'm pretty sure it's against uh, Twitch TOS, and that should be eradicated immediately. Again, it's fraudulent people like this that don't even deserve to, to have the ability that they've been born with in a video game. It's so stupid and it really annoys me. I mean, I'm not saying much, but this Tasobi guy goes from getting 27-3 and three one weekend to 29-1 and one the next weekend. I wonder if this surgery room had anything to do with that. I wonder. I wonder. He also went 0 and 2 in qualifiers to then go 3 and 2. I wonder if the surgery room had anything to do with that. Hey, Tasobi, you fraud. I could sit here and rant and rave and get angry all day long. I genuinely could because it actually really infuriates me when people act like this and, and they, they ruin not only the name of this community but the face of it as well. Um, Nick is a genuine solid guy and the fact that that Nick had to go through all this uh, and had to make a whole video about this shows just the, the level and the limit that these people have reached. Like, Nick is a very chill person. If, if you know, if he has to make a whole video regarding this, you know that you've, you've done messed up, right? You know that you're out of order. And I just thought I would, I would give my two cents on it because I feel like we don't have enough of this in the community where people actually come together and give their thoughts on it in videos. So I thought I would um, share my thoughts on it. I highly recommend going and watching Nick's video. I'll leave a link in the top line of the description. Um, I highly recommend it. It's a very good watch and it gives a lot of insight into this community and in, in, in the game and things like that. Uh, and he just speaks straight facts for 30 minutes straight. Uh, if you, if you want to watch it, like I said, link in the description and go check Nick out. Solid, solid guy. And it sucks that this happened. It sucks it happened to the point where you have to make a video on it and if you're one of these frauds in one of these screenshots or in the game don't go on a rant tweeting out how you didn't stream snipe anyone you absolute idiot like how how big of a fool can you be to try and take all the thing away from saying just just because you just didn't stream snipe someone it makes it okay dodging is the biggest fraudulent thing you can do all right you're not a pro player if you dodge you're just not because you've, you've effectively rigged your matchmaking to come up against worse players to give yourself more of an advantage. And it just, it's just fraudulent. It just is. It just is. I, I can't be asked to see all these tweets about how they didn't stream. It's like, like, shut up. Just shut up. Anyway, that's it for me. If you guys have enjoyed, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Like I said, go check out Nick's video. Uh, and I'll see you later.